30 seconds to battle. Man, every lane is gonna fighting so hard here. Hoop stomps already. KYXY. Hoop stomps. And that's gonna be the first blood uh, by Team Clutch Gamers. We need some game. Alacrity. Alacrity is back down to the river. Get locked down in the massive of headboard. Alacrity walking away. It's not the spot back and he died the river. Frostbart and Poison touch on him. Here comes the Hoop Storm and strike him with Retaliate. Jumped in into the free wave. He will go out. If he die one more time, he will have to walk back. Skylark is not the spot into the forest. And here comes the Chalk. Just hit on the Dazzle, but Chalogram on himself just in time. And this is going to cause a lot of problems for Team Boom ID. Just have to retreat. Uh, they can't spend any second more to kill uh, that Dazzle. And he's just going to get caught. That cool cut. Flashing around with the Aventa sign and also the Avelt Fury. Better be careful about the Omni Slash, but no, oh, nice setup by KYXY with the hoops on my aiming for the Joe Camp. They know that, they know who to aim for. They need to get rid of that Rubik first, or the Arcane Supremacy is just gonna kill all of them. So every time they see Rubik, they're jumping on them. Mikoro will slow down with the um, spamming the poison touch on him. Now he's now getting hit. Locked down in the Master of Endwars, but he's gonna be fine. Only few hits on the Master of Endwars, he was free. KYXY stands in front uh, as a position 4, he's doing very good job as a tanking hero. Mikoro getting slashed, one hit away, and Skylar got it with the uh, poison punch, and everyone just need to buy back. This one's gonna be FBC, spinning around to be safe from all the spells. Uh, X minus spot back into the Noya, into the torrent. Uh, Locked out in a tackle, finally only slash comes out at the same time with Alacrity, save the Eclipse. All of them fall. Six hundred HP left. Nico Baby already got the Omni Slash food already. Start striking on the Barry Rax. But look at the Rax. Slashing on the Rax. Slashing on the Rax. Chubb of Grape on the uh, Centaur Rana. He fall back just a little bit. They haven't got the Rax yet. Uh, but Omni Slash came out and killed that Axe though. Axe or Rax. Axe or Rax. It's gonna be Rax and Axe. Spinning around and just go for that Rubik. Come on, man. Finally get the Bar Rax. Uh, and he. Start attacking on the racks. Here comes the master pin wards, but it was played a little bit too deep inside for Team Boom ID. Maybe because they don't want it to be slashed down. However, on this slash comes out, the MVC falls down real quick. And with a decent start in the early game, now becoming a paper in the late game in front of the Juggernaut. Comes in by the KYXY, very nice setting up, dropping set the Eclipse. They was just one step ahead from taking the lead in the last series of the game. Goes in and a striker. Alacrity finish on that joker. Fall to win five games in a row today, including winning over Team Minessi. God like already for Nico Baby. That's the mega creeps. It's a matter of time now, as I don't believe there is some way Team Boom ID will come back in this case. Going in with a first ship. FBC. Of the Black King Bar and Mikoto. And Axe will fall down as he just died back. It's a TT call coming up from Team Boom ID. And only 30 minutes in. 25 to 6 game goal. Clutch Gamer takes the lead. We're gonna take a break and we will be right back to game number. Tiny. FBC on Beastmaster, Fovian, Terra Blade. Dukem on the partner for Team uh, Clutch Gamers on Dire Side. Tournament. I'm sorry, King's Cup. Frostbars already going straight for FBC, dropping quite low, jumping on him, Slash, you can't run away from the pals, and that's gonna be the first blood for Nico Baby. Be fine with the Frost Shield now. Instead, it's Mikoto that's getting chased down right here, Nico Baby entering the scene now. This is getting very, very ugly for Team Boom ID. Going straight for the try now, turn on the try, throw away, get off me! Don't jump, jumping on you once again for Nico Baby. Mikoto getting some HP, but Miku can't run away from the Slark. Next one's gonna be a partner. Kalei is back, using the Last time using the little blaster, not gonna help 
stop it. Stampede finally come out for the Centaur Runner to leave in the scene safely. The FBC going to be the next one. Can't see dropping on Mystic Floor. It's FBC. And now the, the cut just can't stop Slap from moving forward. It's going to be a Slap killed. One to eight game scores already. The game might end too soon. It is boom ideal. With the hoop storm. He actually missed that one. They all stay primal roll to start the fight and also the um uh, can seal in order to shut down uh, and up world devour however slang is the front line already reading the chain for uh, dropping quite low for boom ID. One down, two down, two bouts, uh, two down, uh, and it's Skylark uh, ready to go for another retaliate attack. Uh, who stomp double H uh, three down for team boom ID rest arrest. KYXY Avalanche Toss. KYXY stealing the Avalanche and trying to run away with that. No, he actually got a toss. Now it's Fovian who brought him down. Nicolo, here comes the Chain Frost. Watch out the bounce. Skylark running away. Avalanche just hits all of them. But the core heroes are now too easy. Now Nico Baby going straight for the real one of the Terror Blade. Start tagging on him and he still can do the Thunder though. He's Thunder. His teammates on the high ground. I don't. Yeah, maybe because the um, Nico ba Baby is on the Shadow Dancers now. Might be the big fight breaks out once again. Joe Cam once again, he get gone down by Skylark. And might be an easy kill. He used the Crepe Fire on himself, dropping a Mystic Flare. This time he hits it. It's KY's wife falls down. Skylark, however, finish off that Joe Cam in order to return that. Nico Baby just gonna get away with the Shadow Dance. He's dropping quite low. He need regen a little bit. It's with two. three games. And we could go for the last game for Grand Finals. Type 2. Dumping in for the Rubik, Avalanche and Toss. Uh, here we go, Chain Frost comes out. The FPC might have to get away from that. Uh, I feel like Boom ID in this team by being ripped apart by Team Clutch Gamers. Uh, now finally standing toe to toe by Nico Baby. Attacking on, oh no! It's actually a cheese come sound. Uh, but they can't do any damage to the uh, Slark at all. Astron Prison Cement, very nice save. Uh, coming back for the Terror Blade. He already spent his ages. Now he's gonna run away. Already do the Thunder as well. They're jumping in. Stuck in the lead. You can't get away from that one. Pal just gonna keep you down. And then Kill Fighter, it makes a lot of this world spells longer. Nicolo now managed to kill that Noia and take a look at his big team fire out here. Here comes the Stampede charging on him. Skyrod man down now, dropping any single spell and sent the Eclipse almost kill all of them. Still on the Black King bar, but can't stand the physical damage of that. They have Terror Blade, a Phobia, and finish him all off. Bought back right away. It's Skyrod man trying to join back the team fight that Nico Baby for a call his teammate. Here, fall back just a little bit, man. They kind of fight around that. Because uh, Alvo Devourer doesn't have a buyback uh, and they lost the Centaur Runner. This is not looking good because Clutch Camer lost the fight right in front of that base. It's Crimson Guard. Nico Baby tried to find the, uh, the angle to go in. Uh, find the real one, sorry. Release the chain straws. Now they see the real TV. But Nico Baby going straight to the support first. Uh, turn on the gold scepter. Buying some time for him, dropping a Mystic Flare. Nico Baby being forced to use the Black King Bar in order to be safe for all the spell from the Skyrod Mage. Uh, the race of Team Boom ID have to retreat. Uh, Slark. Jumping in and here come the hoop stone, but he being silent by the concussive the, uh, shot and also the engine seal. Skylark forced off himself away. Meanwhile, Mikoto is trying to uh, chase the support away uh, from the uh, spell zone. Here we go, top, dropping um, the Black King bar and still no sentry eclipse coming out from Alacrity. Where is Slark? Slark is around here in the middle of the team fight, jumping away with the Dark Pact. <laughs> Trying to get away from all the spells, uh, two support from Team Clutch Camer already falls down. It seems to be a one fight for Team Boom ID and this from one. TB. Now he got it. Uh, goes in, aiming for the TB. Can he finish that TB off before he goes for the Thunder? Thunder, hear the Thunder! Lightning and the Thunder and TB turn on the Black King by killing everyone in front. They're fighting toe to toe against TB. Nico Baby falling back. Uh, and he's just gonna finish everyone in front of him. Terror Blade is doing it. Uh, Skylark dropped. Killing spree and three down between clutch gamers. No way, Terror Blade with the Aegis just gonna destroy everything. And Nico Baby straight now, he found the real win. Can he finish him off? Thunder, no more.
Now he's just gonna come back to SP full mana. The rest of the team and Clash Gamer need to force out the rest of the team boom ID. So it can be a double team on the uh, TB. Start attacking on the TB. Force out himself now. Turn the Black King bar. Do another thunder. And it's Skylark who's dropping low. Primal Roar comes out. Nice save with the Ash One Prism by Alacrity. The game might reset once again. Uh, nobody dies yet. Jumped in. Who's done uh, Right clicking on Kess killed. Uh, it turns out Kess killed first one to fall down. Force out himself from the life drain. Uh, nice. Dyer's middle barracks are taking damage. Dyer's middle barracks have oh, fallen. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Joel can just sacrifice himself. <laughs> Already in this game for clutch gamers. Dyer's bottom tower needs Going to Going strike inside that. Uh being tension sealed. Uh, now he's the uh, moving target for the Centaur run. Uh, Avalon taught everything for the Centaur run. How uh, he's dead. Where is he? Astro imprisonment. He's just gonna hop back uh, just to get slashed one more time by the Boom ID. Can he buy back? I don't think so. Die for 100 seconds. Uh, a hot light currently for Nico's baby. Somebody kills him, but you can't fight that Furby and he's running away now, getting body blocked by that uh, MPC. No Centaur run. Pop the Black King by in order to get away. He's trying to pounce. Uh, Nico baby. Nico baby. He's dead. Right away, straight to the throne, Dyer's and that should be it for the uh, second game of the Dyer's series. We are going to game number Dyer's three. Dyer's That's Dyer's it. Dyer's TG has been called. Uh, we are going to the final game to determine which team will be our Southeast Asia representative. But we're gonna take a break. Gotta do some, yeah. Whole team smoke, four guy for team clutch gamers to top. No, oh, yeah. Okay, why XY? Here come the Crepify and also Nate the Blast. <laughs> Don't come. Using the ink spell on himself, and it just explode on KYXY to let this is back. Very nice save by Team Clutch Gamers. And it goes straight for the Joe Camera. Ink spell not gonna connect. That KYXY still being slowed down by the Boa. One hit on KYXY. They creepify on himself, turn on the self up. What a type of KYXY. People led by Mikoto. I like Kinesis, uh, Slark going for the FBC, Tamako, still level 5, no prime more raw, and Avalon Torch, and they're all dropping low, that's two kills in one! The uh, Tiny, which is one physical attack first, and you thunder clap for another kill. Yeah, Swarm Prismet, Skylark coming back in, this time you won't miss the thunder clap, and he killed Furby and down for the first time. That's back to the fight, the bottom lane jumping in, pouncing on that FBC. Prime more raw, despite being gone down, but he's still... And kill one, Mikoto is on, dominating, throw a creeps inside to slow him all down, throw the three, throw everything, Nico Baby, Dyer's spamming an arcane bolt on Nico Baby, one. he gets some regen back, die because of concussive shot, better catch him. That catching the outworld devourer, the knows that they are all dropping a mystic flare, that's hella damage to Alacrity, and they're gonna get one more kill, Spectre even hot down for that too. Not much good's happening to Radiant Spot. Mopop, the CT Slark, still no blink dagger, but he being forced up inside just to get into the all. Oh, what saved by the Astro Prism on the last minute? Uh, Primal Spirit is ready. Primal Spirit already comes out chasing for the support. Uh, Skyrod made being chased. Uh, and Clutch Gamer just get rid of that FBC. Next one gonna be Jokam uh, being found by Slark. Uh, How's on him? Dark Pants and Jokam falls. Uh, Skylark uh, just get rid of that catch kill event. Nico Baby. 12 and 8. Uh, Nico Baby. This is flat already. Nico Baby is about to go down now. He's dead. Killing spree for Nicoto. Ready to go. Nicoto. Avalanche in the toss. Uh, dropping quite low. Nice save. Astro and Prism in the good positioning by Alacrity. It's time to go in. Uh, and, and right click on Nicoto. The Eclipse killing spree ended. Well, Clutch Gamer also want to get down that... Oh no, Ancient Seal. Easy kill. See how easy they can kill that Slark with the Ancient Seal? Go see in the final row. Can't hit start uh, with the Primal Roar. Chess kill dropping quite low. You have to fall back to the higher ground. Uh, Alacrity, uh, killing spree. And then uh, whoever died is brought back. It's two calls of Clutch Gamer. That's a look good for Clutch Gamer. 
and gets the fight once again with the Rubik play Kalisis back into the Outworld Devourer start to attack. It's gonna be the Aegis for Team Boom ID and Spectre will pick it up. Furby has got it. High on top of Avalanche Sword. A nice haunted down by the Spectre. Suddenly the fight breaks. Dropping a Mystic Flare. Nice effort for his men to save himself, but not for so long. Alacrity falls down. They can win a team wipe. I think they still got a chance. It comes in with the Assault Prismen first. And again with the Jokam. Fought back right away. It's just, oh, it's gonna buy. Oh no, jumped in with the Haunt. And here we go, Avalanche Tom in the middle of the team by the all dropping by Loki, and especially KYXY. He's still alive, they kept the fight, but how he get end up getting hit by the Tiny eventually. Tiny, Telekinesis is back, uh, getting attacked by Nico Baby now, but he's looking pretty healthy, he's quite tanky, but drop down, set the Eclipse just to kill alone that Tiny, but look at that, where's Spectre now? Spectre already got back, uh, leaving his teammates in front line, uh, fighting each other, oh my goodness, Joe can fly to high, and it's Skylark just hit him, uh, but look at the fight around here, and luckily dropping solo, oh! Man and Troll imprisonment of himself, copy of Hesarino, but Anoya with a Primal Roar. What a crazy team fight here. And with Crash Game of Wanda, we still in Strike in the Roshan pit, but it might be the contest from Team Flash Gamer. Sending the later wars already. Picking up the, the Furby and the Aegis of Immortal. Here we go, Primal Spectre. They're taking a risk and they go in. They're aiming for the Spectre. Strike hard on the Spectre. He can't run away. He doesn't have enough HP to fight that now. He spent the first Aegis. It's time for Nico Baby to regen some HP and maybe go back in for round number two. Team Boom ID wants to retreat, but the Horn calls call down that just to stop everyone jumping in. Everyone's horse almost killed Nico Baby. Nico Baby with no buyback. Next one's gonna be Alacrity. Everything gone wrong for Team Clutch Game. Emma running away with the yellow on, Black King by his on, still being hit. Can he run away? Ooh, that was so close. Somebody still a three down for Team uh, Clutch Gamer anyway. Send closer to Romania. They are about to get the uh, Mega Creeps. Fermion. Fermion. Standing at the man fight, he's still holding an AJ to turn on the black team bar, and here comes the Primal Roar. They're all going for the Outworld Devourer. They know that if they can kill the Outworld Devourer, the game will be over. Outworld Devourer walking back, only a few hits away, being punched, being hit, everything, and it's all over. Outworld Devourer fought back right again. Still, still in the game because Slack about to come out. But they're gonna fight without Rubik and also Parent Real Master for at least. One minute. Start attack on the throne already. Boom. It's all over in the base. Start to turn on the Black King Bar and just start attacking on him. It's our world viral falls. Nico Baby in the middle. He's still standing, still trying to fight and die. He just won't give up. Primal Roar already comes out. Nico Baby walking back to the shrine. Trying to reach in. He's being torn actually. Nico Baby was born to stay in the shrine. This person could deal a lot of damage. Even though he's in front of the shrine. However, the Burmian falls down. But he still can buy back and hunt it down. MBC falls, uh, and it's gonna be a throne uh, and trying to attack on the throne already. MBC, they're still pushing out for Team Clutch Gamer. Game is not done yet, they don't want to buy it. Uh, and this is gonna capture this one. MBC was brought down by Team CG. Still holding on for Clutch Gamer, even though they. Now they're all grouping up around here for the Clutch Gamer. Going to the Rotan pit, they want that Rotan pit, they want that Aegis, they have to take a risk if they lose the fight around here, then it should be a joke hammer. Easily get rid of that Noya and Nico B falls. Uh, no buyback for the Slark, and that should be it. The game ends here. GG, Clutch Gamer. Uh, have tried their best, but still not good enough. Uh, congratulations to Team Boom ID. They are out. Southeast Asia Remsen's team. Uh, to go to Bucharest Minor 2019, congratulations, man. They have been fighting all along. The battle resumes. Wow, congratulations.